you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 12th tuesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to say mark chapter 1 verses 21 to 28 They went to Capernaum and when the Sabbath came he entered the synagogue and taught they were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes just then there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out what have you to do with us Jesus of Nazareth have you come to destroy us i know who you are the only holy one of god but jesus rebuked him saying be silent and come out of him and the unclean spirit convulsing him and crying with a loud voice came out of him they were all amazed and they kept on asking one another what is this a new teaching with the authority he commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him At once his fame began to spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. The gospel of the Lord praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, today's passage is the first part of a day in the life of Jesus in which he carries out the main activities of his mission, teaching and healing. He goes to Capernaum, the center of much of his work and on his Sabbath day like a where every observant jew goes to the synagogue he begins to teach the people much of jesus work will consist of teaching of communicating his message his vision of life people are deeply impressed because unlike the scribes he speaks with authority the scribes could only interpret give the meaning of the scripture jesus spoke in his own right jesus speaks in the best tradition of the great prophets but there is more jesus authority is empowering and liberating it is not oppressive or subjugating he will say in john's gospel the truth will make you free yes again people are amazed at the power and authority of this man jesus he saw he has new teaching and can give orders to evil spirit the question is being asked just who is this man it is a question that is the underlying theme of the first half of this gospel it for us to submit ourselves to the same empowering authority of jesus to listen to his teaching by steeping ourselves in his gospel message and experiencing his healing and uh, liberating in our lives amen may god bless us